So yeah, the two countries come a long way, obviously, firstly, politically, but in the more recent years, we've moved on to pursue economic diplomacy with South Sudan. And as a result of that, we then a few years ago entered into a memorandum of agreement in the area of energy. And we're quite excited to see that that uh, memorandum of cooperation has translated into South Africa getting into a working partnership on an oil block with a local state-owned uh, company, Nalpet. And during this visit this week, two days ago actually, we went and launched an aircraft that has arrived in Juba and is ready to begin with the um, survey uh, over the prospective uh, block. And we are quite hopeful and quite excited based on the basic data we have on that particular old block that we will be making a discovery and that will really strengthen our relationship further, you know, in terms of economic um, diplomacy, but also ensuring um, security of energy because much as South Africa is far from South Sudan, we might not necessarily be able to move oil directly from South Sudan, but there are plans for a pipeline to evacuate um, the oil to neighboring countries from there. There are all sorts of options, you know, to move the oil across or do oil swaps as um, is standard and common practice um, in the energy sector. But yeah, we're quite excited that um, this relationship is really getting str gaining strength, getting stronger and stronger very soon. Uh, we are hopeful, in fact, that by the end of this year, we would have announced um, positive results out of this uh, project. Well, this oil and power conference for us is very strategic. That is why this year you would have noticed that we came with an even bigger delegation than last year, um, a delegation comprising of uh, several state-owned entities in South Africa. We came with colleagues from the Council for Geoscience, colleagues from African Exploration, which is a South African state-owned mining company, and of course, Strategic Fuel Fund, which is already operational on the ground in South Sudan. And before the conference, a day before the conference, we actually had back-to-back -back meetings with different ministries. One of those ministries being the mining uh, department or ministry. Um, that meeting was purely to ce cement our relationship. When we were here last year in September, we entered for the first time into negotiations around having a memorandum of cooperation, which uh, we were happy to share with the South Sudanese colleagues that that memorandum of cooperation has gone through all the legal processes in South Africa. We've, gone, we've gotten all the necessary approvals. What we will be doing next is that we will just be preparing a presidential minute and get that uh, cooperation ready for, signatures, for signatures. And we will be extending an invitation to the Minister of Mines in South Sudan to come to South Africa for the signing ceremony. But we won't only stop um, with the signing ceremony. We want to have a working visit. We want it to also be a working visit where, firstly, using, of course, this conference as, as, as a good platform for us to s conclude deals, enter into business deals. We want to take them around our facilities, Council for Geoscience facilities, I mean, quite established, 110-year-old institution, wealth of knowledge, beautiful facilities for geological mapping, which is one of the services we are looking to offer to this country. And we also would like to take them to Mintech, which is an entity focusing on uh, developing technologies for mineral processing, Nexa, which is our nuclear uh, institution, and quite a few others. So we will have quite a packed program when they do visit South Africa, and we're looking for that to happen in the next month or two, uh, depending on the minister's availability. So, so overall, in a nutshell, we see this conference as a good platform for us as South Africa to 
grow our relations with other African countries from just political diplomacy, but to more towards economic diplomacy, where we want to say to them, insofar as mining is concerned, not so much um, oil exploration, but insofar as mining is concerned, South Africa has been there for over 130 years. We've paid the school fees, and we, if we have, why should they? Rather, they partner with us on favorable terms based on our political ties and pursue um, the growth and, and poverty alleviation for this continent, particularly energy poverty. 130 years of formal mining is good experience. But also, if you look at this entire African continent, South Africa has a good industrial base. Uh, manufacturing of parts needed either for the oil sector or mining sector, we have a good base for that as a country. And we are saying we want to share that with our fellow brothers on the rest of the continent. It's not just about uh, come do it with South Africa out of the A, but it's evidence-based, it's science-based, it's experience-based, but also the understanding that if one country in South Africa, in Africa thrives, all of us will, you know. We want to have that spillover effect from country to country within the continent.